And what is going on, everybody? In this particular series of the subreddit series, I like to dive deep into those particular questions people have that are rated extremely high in hopes to hit the masses with particular answers that they may have questions to that they have not yet gotten answers to. In this particular one, uh, I must say there was a lot of up votes for this particular question, and I can see why. I think a lot of people struggle with this particular question. But with that being said, before we get started, uh, I just want you to remind you guys that if you want to do virtual races with me, I am doing virtual races on Instagram. I posted on my Instagram stories if you are interested in. I got links down in the description below or links in my bio on Instagram if you guys are interested in that. Tag me, Discover Ignite, in it so I can see your progress and we can make 2021 the best year ever. But being said, let's go ahead and get started in this subreddit series. This particular question, again, is, let me pull it up here. Share the old screen. That way you guys can see the question here. Uh, it's a it's very, very simple question, but I see a lot of people with this issue. And the question being is, my eyes fill with tears when someone at home talks to me rudely or says something very personal in a harmful way. Given that happens a lot. <laughs> I just want to cry in front of them. So is there any way to control those emotions and avoid crying? I really want to change this. Would be great if you guys can give some tips. Well, first of all, let me actually expand this back so you guys can see me a little bit better. How about we just go full screen? That's probably better. <laughs> uh, so if someone at home is talking to you in a bad manner, you know, I talk always about having a good environment. And that is really critical to the way you think about yourself. If you have a very negative environment, you are going to think poorly of yourself. And so you really have to focus on yourself a lot. You're going to have to really put in the work to make sure that you have a positive voice, uh, essentially that you're speaking for yourself. You know, being said, um, I'm assuming these may be your parents, maybe a loved one, whatever the case is, is talking to you uh, very rudely, uh, says something very personal or harmful. A lot of times when people do that in general, they're reflecting on their internal self, right? Maybe they don't like something on themselves, so they'll reflect it on you. It gets some of the some of the anger and frustration out. Sometimes they they mean to do it. Sometimes they don't mean to do it. But ultimately, what you need to understand is that person, you're not going to be able to control what that person is going to say or do. And if you are stuck, whether it's a relationship, you can consider letting go of that relationship would be one of the first things I would suggest. The next thing would be is if it's like family, you know, they are family, but that doesn't mean you have to you have to stay there, right? You could possibly look at leaving. If you can't leave, then we can go into some other different things, which again, I don't know how old this person is. It does, obviously doesn't say it's very short and sweet and to the point. Uh, but being said, uh, you want to start crying in front of them. The thing is, is you are allowing somebody else's opinion of you mean more than your own opinion. You don't hold value for yourself. You hold value for yourself, essentially, on what other people think of you. And this is one of the worst things to do because this, this holds you back from doing a lot of different things. You have to build the trust in yourself. You have to build the confidence in yourself. So when people come at you and tell you these things, you know they bounce right off of you because you know who you are. You have a track record of what you've done. Now, if you feel like you're, you want to cry right in front of them is because you are accepting what they're telling you. You don't have to accept what anybody tells you. I, I think I have the track, track record to prove that. Never accept what somebody tells you, right? It's just somebody else's opinion. 
This is why I talk about going into think tanks and thinking for yourself and doing all these other different things and experiencing things and building that confidence because when it comes to things like this, people are going to challenge you. And, and, and people sometimes will take advantage of the weak because they feel weak themselves. So because they feel weak, why not just bash on you more? And you, you are not controlling your frame. Now, this is something that's extremely important. I've talked about frame and I've seen it go across the internet about like people not really understanding what frame is. Frame is essentially, you know, how essentially you're allowing your environment to affect you. It's almost like a confidence thing. Like it's your frame is what you can control. And when you could, what you can control is yourself. As long as you're controlling yourself, you have confidence in yourself and you believe in your abilities, your frame should be strong. People should gravitate towards your frame. And going into this, your frame is very weak. But how do you improve your frame? Right? Anytime, anytime you're in a conversation, the person that's normally in control of that conversation, they have control of the frame. Whoever, those people that go into a room and they feel like everybody gravitates towards that person, they hold the frame because they believe in themselves. But you have to understand that to do this, you have to build a confidence. You have to do a lot of different things, a lot of different series of things that are compounded over time that build that confidence so people gravitate towards you because you can hold the frame because you believe in yourself from the things that you've done through the things that you've experienced and realized that somebody's opinion, you have to realize that everybody's going to have an opinion and not all of them are, are fantastic. I can tell you that there's a lot of negativity out there. And again, if you have a weak frame right now, yes, more people will feed on you until you build that frame up. But being said to help fix this, you have to start taking taking the daily efforts to build yourself up. And a good thing to do this is I talk about this is visualization, right? Reframing yourself. You have to pick attributes, right? What would your ultimate self look like? What would they look? What would they say? How would, how would they act around people? Where would they be at? What would they be doing? Right? How would your optimal self be? Everybody has that optimal picture of who they would like to become and then start acting like that person. Now you can say it's imposter syndrome and it's a bunch of BS and all that, but I'm telling you this works. Coming from a weak frame, you have to build yourself up. You have to build yourself up to that. So to be able to do that, you have to start with that voice in your head. And that's what is critical here is to understand that that voice in your head, if you have a negative environment, especially when it's coming from people at your house, you have to build yourself up. That, that critical time talking to yourself has to be positive. So that means if you find that the internal voice you have is, is speaking very negative about yourself, you need to stop in its tracks and be aware of this. So next time you hear that voice creeping in and agreeing with what the other the person is saying, you need to stop yourself. Think about three good things about yourself. If you can't think about any good things about yourself, say, hey, look, I'm smiling. Smile. Stand up, put your shoulders back, uh, chin up, right? Those are big things. Those are big, immediate, confident boosters. Just your posture in general, if you can sit straight and do that, that in itself will help you. And again, this takes awareness and conscious, being conscious of the fact that you are hunched over and, and stuff like that. So you have to be aware of these different things. And in doing that, this will slowly build your confidence. You have to build your frame up. So that when people start talking negative to you, be like, hey, you know what? There, there's no need for that. You could stop them in their tracks. As soon as they start talking negative about you, be like, you know what? No. And then just walk away. If they want to continue to press forward, walk away. Why even sit there? Your time on this earth is precious and limited. This is what's important. To sit in there and in and, and fights over something to the point where someone wants to make you to cry, it just sounds very, 
mentally abusive, verbally abusive is what that is. You don't have to take that. You can tell them stop. They don't want to stop, you walk away. They continue to follow you, just continue to ignore them and walk away. Get out, go outside, walk around. Leave the current environment if that is what is going on. Tell them, I will no, I will no longer tolerate this. If you want me to do something, I will do it, right? I can do it, whatever the case is. I mean, I don't know how old you are, but being said, right, you shouldn't be verbally taking any kind of verbal abuse because verbal abuse is actually worse than physical abuse because verbal abuse is harder to shake off. So being said, you need to, again, take control of that frame. This is going to help you with you wanting to cry because if you have belief in yourself, then people can tell you whatever they want. You're going to laugh it off. You're going to shake it off and be like, no, I don't agree with it. Don't let somebody else's words hold value to your life. You should never let that happen. Because right now, when someone is talking to you and you're wanting to cry, it's because you don't have the belief in yourself. You don't have the frame. Who do you want? Who's that, who would the optimal self do in that situation? What would they do? Would they say, no, I'm not dealing with this. Stop. Or perhaps they wouldn't say anything at all, but like, you know, that's great or whatever. Keep it short and sweet. They want to continue to go, turn and walk away. They want to continue to follow you and continue to yell, scream, whatever. Go take a walk. Go drive somewhere. Get out of that current environment. You don't have to deal with it. Don't let anybody else's opinion affect you. Don't let their opinion hold it so bad to where you're starting to cry. This is what is important. You have to be there for yourself when you have environments like this. You have to manage that frame. Find the optimal self. Be that person till you become that person. Act every which way till you become that person. What would that person do? Continue to live that way until you are that person. It does work. It takes effort on your behalf to do that. Come at everything as a joke. That helps sometimes for me too. Somebody wants to keep going at you, just laugh it off. They may make them more angry with you, but you know what? Life is short. Don't put up with the nonsense. You kind of want to continue to bash me? I'm going to laugh it because it's a joke. Go find someone else that has a weak frame. It's not me anymore. Don't ever allow someone to put you in that situation. I don't care what it is. A lot of people can be really bullies because of the fact that, you know, they're not in a good place in their lives, so they reflect it on you. And normally you're coming from a weak framework. If you allow something like this to happen, start giving into it and start wanting to cry because of it. There is a lot of people that are weak. And there are a lot of other people out there that are weak that feed off the weak to make themselves feel better. Don't let them make you the victim. Now, I'm not saying you are a victim. You're allowing yourself to become the victim. Change your framework. Change your frame. Allow yourself to become the optimal self. Don't put up with it. I'm not saying go out and start a fight and all kinds of stuff like that. Be the bigger person. Walk away. Life is too short to sit there and to fight over mundane things or someone's opinion of you. That should hold no value. I'll take your input. That's great. Yeah, I know I got some things I need to work on, but, you know, I'm working on them. I appreciate your comments. 
You want to continue to go? Well, I, I don't got time for this. I got somewhere else I got to be. So I hope this helps you. I hope that other people out there that are dealing with this, you know that you have value. Actually, just uh, my last podcast just talked about you having value. The problem is, is you need to find the value in yourself. Change the frame in which you see yourself in the optimal self, and then don't let anybody penetrate that. As soon as you lose frame, you lose the battle because people will run all over you if you lose frame. Sometimes you still can be weak even once you find frame, but you ultimately need to find the frame. You need to know where your focal point is that I am in control of my reaction to what is going on. I feel confident in myself. Build that up. Find something you can build and create to build up your confidence. It's always helped me. Build a business, write a book, and do something that is building yourself out. Go to the gym, hit the weights, get the anger out, build your body up, build your mind up, do meditation. These things are little confidence builders to building that optimal self. Then you become the optimal self. Then you don't put up with it. Then you have that framework to work off of. So again, thank you guys very much. And until next time, I will see you guys later.